Greetings everyone. Many YouTube users like myself have built their own x-ray sources. However, I couldn't find many that actually produce pictures. So I thought I would make a video on how I use instant film to make x-ray images. This film is for demonstration purposes only and assumes that you already know how to build and properly use an x-ray source. Also that you are aware of the dangers that using an x-ray source poses. To begin, you're going to need to procure some instant film. Since Polaroid no longer makes instant film, you'll need to order it online. You can still get old film on eBay, or you can buy it from the Impossible Project, a company in the Netherlands that now makes it using Polaroid's process and old equipment. It costs a bit more than when you could get it down the street, but at least we're not left completely high and dry. After you receive your film, open it and pull out the cartridge. We need to remove the film from the cartridge before we can expose them to x-rays. I will show you how to do this. Of course, you'll need to do it in complete darkness. First, find the side with the plastic pull flap. On this cartridge, it's blue. On the other side is a small door, shown here. Pull the door out to open it. You'll notice that if you press on the top, that it gives and pops back. While slightly pressing down, push the card out, but not all the way. You'll be able to fill the face of the first picture just behind the card. While slightly pushing down, while simultaneously pushing out, remove the first picture. I find this easier if you just push a few centimeters out and then turn it over and grab from the other side. Be sure that you don't take the card out as it's being used as a guide. Set the image aside and now repeat. I took them all out. However, you'll just need to remove all but one. With one image loaded, push the card back into place and close the little door. You now should have a cartridge with only one picture in it. Place all the pictures you pulled out in a light-proof box or envelope and store in a dark room. You'll be going back and loading them one at a time as you need them. So now we can go about exposing our first image. I chose to try a watch in an IC. Exposure times vary on the power of your setup. I found 20 minutes to be good on mine. Once your film is exposed, you can go about developing it. To do this, you'll need a camera that is compatible with the film cartridge. You can get these cameras on eBay for just about nothing. Open your camera and load in your cartridge, and then close the door. The camera should kick out the card. You'll want to put it aside, as you'll need it later. Now take a napkin or something opaque and place over the lens. With your other hand, press the shutter button. And out pops your picture. I used to do this with a rolling pin in the dark but got bad results. Letting the camera do the developing works every time. While we wait for this image to develop, let's take a look at loading another. Once again, this procedure must be done in complete darkness. Using the card as a guide, try to work the top of the picture into the slot. You'll be needing to place pressure on the card to get it to go in, as there's a small metal frame that is in the way. Be sure that you're putting the picture face up against the card. Keep working it until you get the picture and the card all the way down and then close the door you're now ready to expose your next image. So now let's look and see how the first exposure did. The IC did the best, as the watch was not exposed long enough to get through the metal plate on the back. This only works well with thin, flat objects, as we are really just making contact images. So something thick would show the parts close to the image in focus while the parts in the back would be blurry. This camera can't pick up fine details, so I scan the image and remove the color in Photoshop. Here it is. I'm sure you can think of many interesting items to x-ray. 
If you try this on your x-ray machine, please make a video response and post it here. Thanks for watching.